<laughs> Sorry, we were just laughing at some really hilarious stuff that we share off camera. Anyways, welcome to Man Alive, the show with men talking to each other, to you about stuff. Today's episode is, uh, wouldn't it be cool if such a thing existed? And, and we're basically going to come up with our own piece of technology that doesn't exist, that should exist. You have a piece of technology you want to share that doesn't exist? Oh, do I ever. I was dreaming the other day. Just lying in bed dreaming. Continue. Yeah. And uh, I came up with a really great uh, idea, I think. I mean, it might be the dumbest idea ever, but I like to think that it's pretty good. Um, wouldn't it be cool if, mm -hmm. instead of having a standard furnace mm -hmm. in a house... Like if, a furnace like, like that makes the house warm? Hot. Like hot. a hot box. No, it's like a box that pumps hot into your house. They have these in countries that are uh, further north than America. Ah, parts of America, they have them too. Canada, furnaces are very popular. I imagine Scandinavian countries as well. Furnaces are very popular. Also, perhaps uh, countries or uh, areas near Siberia. Cold people need furnaces, yep. Sorry. Point is... Motherfuckers talking about Scandinavian shit. Like, I give a fuck. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> so wouldn't it be cool if instead of a standard furnace... No, follow me. Sorry, wait, what's a standard furnace? Well, just like, you know, one that runs on... Uh, gas? They run on gas. There's some that run on uh, oil. Uh, there's some that run on electricity. Now... Furnace think, talk with I, Cousin Dave. I think the way that they want to go with, you know, the environment and uh, the world falling apart... And well, can like I just that. point out that, like, you get the microphone, you can talk about anything you want. And you and spend, like, furnaces. But you're, like, going in hard yeah, on I'm furnaces. Gonna go on a, listen, <laughs> furnaces are very passionate. I'm very passionate about furnaces. They're very dear to my heart. I don't think you understand... How much time I spent as the a kid furnace of on furnaces. Yeah, this is my furnace. Everybody has a little furnace right inside here. So wouldn't it be cool if, instead of a regular furnace, you had a furnace that was made out of supercomputers? Stay with me now. I never left. Computers give off an incredible amount of heat. They're known for that. Yes. Processors need fans. Yes. Uh, video cards, they need fans. Yes. Now imagine you were able to build a computer mm -hmm. in the depths of someone's home mm -hmm. that was powerful enough to generate heat. Okay, so a, a supercomputer is a big computer. It's a really big and I think also usually fast. So a supercomputer is relative to the time. Yes. Because like if you went back to like 1978, that's this is a supercomputer. supercomputer. Yeah, if you go back to the 60s, this is taking you to Mars. You go back to 91, that's a supercomputer. Yeah. So, not a supercomputer, you mean like a big computer. I mean a big ass, a big ass heaping motherfucking computer. Like a big hot computer. Like a, like a hot piece of computer. So it's a big hot computer, it's gotta be able to get hot, but the fans blow so on the hot. computer but so that it doesn't... Okay. The fans blow on the computer to push the hot elsewhere. Now imagine if you were to push them into like little air ducts that went into your house. Mm. So now you're cooling the computer, your supercomputer, and you're heating your house. Chillest thing about that? Plug yeah. into any room. TVs, keyboards. Oh, they all attach to the computer. Bro, your whole house is It's like computer. central heating, central computing. It's running your, uh, your... White lights, words document. Your words documents. It's running your kitchen supplies. Sick. So everything can basically be operated on your... Your house is the computer. Your house is the computer. And it's heated by the motherboard, which I, is where I, your furnace iTunes, would load. iTunes, uh, uh, Google, Google uh, Documents Plus. So your you have a big computer mm -hmm. where a furnace would be, and everything in the house is connected to it, so you have, like, full connectivity everywhere. The, the day of the personal computer is, is, is gone. Can you imagine the, the gamma ray uh, exposure or the, whatever? The bits, whatever, the bits are off the chart. Whatever that comes through com comes off computers and makes you sick. Well, it, is it any better than burning oil and pumping that through your house? Tell me, Sauce Boss. Is it? Mm. I don't think so. You're not a fucking doctor. No, definitely not. So, why is it so bad? Okay, so build a fucking computer in your house, bro. It's not that bad. <laughs> That's the thing. What about when it's hot? The though? Well, the what about when summer comes? When it's hot, you're not, your furnace isn't running. Uh, so yeah, your, your house computer, is still going to be fucking computer, hot. Your house turns off. Shit, yeah, you turn your computer yeah, off. You turn your house off. So that's the thing. This is great technology, but...
But then what it means is in the summertime, you can't use computers. But that's not a bad thing because people need to go outdoors more. So it forces you out of your house. What you do is a simple redirection of the heat from your super computer. Super computer. <laughs> you you super, computer. Your super computers. You redirect the heat from your super computer. I'm a fucking idiot. Honestly, if you don't get your shit together, I'm going to actually, find a new yeah, co-host. I'm a fucking dummy. I'm an idiot. And I should be better, but I'm not. I'm shit. Okay. Your super computer. Yeah. You redirect the heat from your supercomputer to heating your super pool in the backyard. Super pool. Yeah. Copyright trademark? Super pool is super cool. That's no, a cool... I, I, honestly, man, I, I, like I really think there's a lot of practical applications. And I think the world is fucking up by not, you know, uh, j- jump, jumping on board with my supercomputer heater uh, house and yeah, pool. That's good. Yeah. Good. I give your, I give your uh, technology idea... Uh, 10 megabits out of 10 megabytes. Wow, that's good. That is good. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's eight not bit, better than 100% though, eight, is eight it? 8 bits to a byte, so it's like less, the megabytes are less than, yeah, it's more than 100%. Shit. Megabytes are less than megabits? Uh-huh. I don't think so. They Power. are. Dog. <laughs> this guy. Anywho, here's my idea. It's an HDMI cord, but it's a belt. It's old. Yep. Okay. Let's get them in stores immediately. <laughs> so Wait. Basically, it's a belt. Slow. Yeah. Explain. I'm sorry. No. So does it's it... basically an HDMI cord, <laughs> and I'm asking you to wear it around your waist. You're just looping it through your pants. And yeah. So when you get to somewhere together. and someone's like, "Oh no, the land party is gonna fail because we don't have an HDMI cord." Oh, yeah. dog! You come My in belt. like the super nerd that you are. No, what I imagine is like I'm like getting ready to stand up. You're yeah. Right. Which you it's a talk show. <laughs> okay. We have sorry. to sit here and drink coffee. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's, it's more than just that though. It's an HDMI cord. It wraps around your belt, but it's kind of like the power belt from Nintendo days. Like remember that, uh, Nintendo wizard show the boy gets sucked into the screen and yeah. he has that you can pause everything. How did you forget? So you have a utility belt with technology items. So like your phone is a belt clip. You could do that. Like, yeah, you could. That's cool. That's phone awesome. Is your belt clip. Sold. Take you can put off. a belt buckle. It's your phone. You can clip it on there. We're br- uh, we're essentially could, bringing back belt clips. Like yeah, standard phone you could pull clips. out. You could pull out like a USB mm-hmm. and plug it into a computer, and you have hard drive on the belt as well. So maybe you have data. That's sick. Data or data. Either or. Once uh, yeah. I like to say it's uh, it's data when I'm watching Star Trek. Right. It's data when I'm asking him to get out of the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's get into that on another episode. That's another episode. How much time do you spend in the bathtub? <laughs> That's another episode. Well, I promise it'll be a good one. <laughs> what the oh. fuck is this? Where are our dads? So, that's cool. It's hard drive. Yeah, and you HDMI, like... HDMI, USB. You can have so much space. I was even thinking, you know, it would be a sick, a sick uh, product. The, uh, the Power Glove. Okay. Copyright and trademark. Bringing it back. We need to bring it back. Oh yeah, Nintendo Power Gloves. They had it. No, okay, it's it's the uh, Ultra Glove, <laughs> Supreme um, Supreme Glove. What it is is it's a glove, mm-hmm. and it has a a hard drive built into it. Okay, so it's it already it is, stores data. It's already a very heavy, uh, strong glove that you could punch somebody with. No. You yeah. can have 120 gigabyte uh, micro SD now. Oh yeah, right. It's not 1993. It's 2014. <laughs> it's 2014. Yeah, it's That's not right. even 2011. Right. I forgot. 2011. Yeah, we yeah, yeah I forgot that. where we're living. You're right. Sorry. Um, so I don't know, like it's like holds like uh, it's 256 gigs. I don't know. I fucking <laughs> care. Solid state. I don't fuck. Fuck. I don't care. Solid snake drive. Solid snake drive. So uh, <laughs> or liquid snake drive. But, Whoa! Oh, that's the technology. Oh, liquid snake drives, guys. Copyright and trademark that. For us, please. Tommy, mark it. Um, so a solid snake drive. Yeah. A solid, solid state drive. Yeah. Inside solid the glove. Drive. And each finger has a different thing. So like, this is like a USB mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. So on your glove, like, you'd be like, yo, what's up? And you're like, oh, did you see the new... You uh, want to share that latest here? track with me? Yeah. You stick it in the computer and you're like plugged in. Do your eyes roll back in your head when you do it? Yeah, you start foaming at the mouth. Like, oh. <gasps> there you go. That's that song. Listen to that and, and roll. When you download a file, you orgasm. Yeah, of course. Um, and uh, everybody and, knows that about downloads. And it has a camera on it. Is that's the middle finger? You. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pictures of people. Smile. <laughs> um, but yeah, shit like okay. that. Uh, yeah, great. I like it. I mean, I think the belt is a little more practical. Uh, you could wear it all year long. 
Yeah, and it sounds like you can have more cables. Because like then at that point you need one finger that's like HDMI, you need another USB. If you're a dancer though, you can wear a cool glove all the time on one hand. Yeah, it's a good thing. Dancers love to accessorize. They do. There's one thing that I know about dancing. It's that when I do it, I have to accessorize. You too, right? Mm. So, I'd like to think that um, I won the invention game today. Sure. I'm yeah, like, I I'm love... changing humanity. You're just making dancers look better. I would love to let you win something. So, this one's yours, man. You did it. Honestly, I feel good about it. You're a real pal. You know who the real winners are, though? Those people at home. I hope you enjoyed this show. Because they get this show every day. You get to watch it all the time now. We're going to keep talking about things all the time. So thanks, and subscribe. And we'll see Like, you. favorite, share, all the social networking jazz. And, and follow us on Twitter. Put comments. Maybe we're inspired by your comments. Hey, the thing is about comments is that we can get on and we can talk to you through the comments. So yeah, and if, I, re- I read if you don't wanna, Yeah, if you don't want to talk to us on the Twitter or the Facebook, you can talk to us on the comments and we'll get on there and talk to you. Really, what we want to do is we just want to talk to you. Hell yeah! My hands are really sweaty. Okay. I don't want anything to do with that. Yeah, I feel like you didn't even want it the first time. Yeah, sure. I'm Dave. This is Harley. And today we've got a really great, great show lined up. Sleeping today. habits. We're talking about sleeping habits, which uh, is crazy because like snowflakes, no two sleeping habits are alike.